Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new video, you golf life, life legends. Legend. Today is going to be absolutely magmotional. How good is it going to be, bro? It's going to be absolutely magmotional, Bingham, mm. because we've been joined by Mr. Zane Scotland and Mr. Danny Willett. How are we, boys? Very well, are you? Yeah, all Love good. It. Thank Thanks you. Thanks so much for coming on. Really appreciate it, boys. Bingham, what are we doing today? What are we doing today? We're just going straight out, aren't we? Straight out. Straight out, just playing each other. You're with Zane, I'm with Danny. We'll turn it shot, see how we get on. Let's go. Yeah? Golf line. Do it. Right, partner, yeah. talk to me. One, nine, three to the pin. I've gone six iron. It's going downhill. How are you hitting it? We'll see, literally, the first tee will determine how well I play. I really like the way you teed it up a little bit. I like, the red, yeah. a little I like, bit. The, I like the red yeah. castle tee. Yeah. 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 I love the castle It's a good tea. start. Yeah. It's a good start. Right, I've, got, I've got six iron. Like it. Oh, what a shot. Get left. Creeping. Yeah. Oh, the oh, oh yeah. a little oh, bounce. Yeah. <laughs> it's the old sphinx. So he didn't even, didn't even move the cast, that's why. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. Slappy. Hit right. Little bounce right. Oh, right. Little bounce right. Oh, That'll do. Okay. Nice right. opener, then, boys. Right. Right. I'll take that. Away we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wrong side at Ridge. Uphill putt. I love it that. I love that. Uh, thought. I apologise. How are we going to play this? You got any tips for me, or I just... Absolutely not. No, Do no. not listen to a word Nothing. I say. Okay. Uh, green's a bit above, so we're going to have to go with a bit, little bit of loft. Yeah. Try and pitch it on the green because of the flattest part. The cleanish sort of lie. My technique's not been amazing just recently, so I'm feeling probably like six, seven out of ten right now on this. Can you work with that? Yeah. Oh, Instantly make that a nine. Come on. Okay. Slap it. <laughs> Open Six face. Out of ten. <laughs> First speed. Yep. A bit of clunky. Alright, Seth. Right, no, right, a bit clunky. Right. It's a off. Right, come on. Uphill. Give it a bit. Oh, what oh. a roll that is. Oh, hey, good. Lovely effort. Very nice. What are you seeing? They're pretty slow, aren't they? So you can give them a bit of a clip. Hello. We're aim pointing on the first. Yeah. <laughs> this is serious. This is, a, this is a serious match. <laughs> Don't worry about Wentworth. You're not taking this seriously. I came down for some fun, gentlemen. <laughs> nice roll. Oh. Let's actually move the other way. Oh. That's all right, isn't it? Come on. Yeah. That's right, yeah. We'll, we'll bank them. I'll, sta I'll, sta I'll stand. standard. Oh, That's going. never getting gimmies. You're standard, yeah. Four square after one. Right. Come on. Go fly. It's the only line we know. Go fly. Oh, insane in the membrane. Go. Come on. Go. Oh. Oh, hang on. Oh, 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 oh. 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 I'll tell you what, could you imagine if that had just been on one like? Nice. Get off it, win. Yeah. Yeah. Tidy, very tidy. Look at this. If it was Zane, it won. Mr. Zane Scotland. Zane, Zane wouldn't that. have had to tap that in. Look at that. I've, I've heard that's your range, isn't it? <laughs> He could have made his own too, no, but unfortunately good. we're going to have to watch it. Big left to right. You need to, you need to make right. it though, don't you? Absolutely, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, it's got, got a break on it, isn't yeah. it? So. He's got this. Uh, obviously, you've watched the channel before, of course. Inside left. But yeah, um. when we get a birdie, it's the old birdie dance. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait in anticipation. I'm not, I'm not doing it, we're against him. I'm not joining him with that. I'll get the part there, just drop Come it on the green. On. Oh, I tell you what. I tell you what. He has as well. <laughs> Coming at you, boys. Coming at you. <laughs> yes. Right, all square. I've had a chat with my partner. Oh, I had an eight in my hand, and Mr. Oh, Zane Scotland said, nine. no, go nine. So that's, I'm doing exactly what he said, because he's an absolute player. Oh, oh we no. nutted it. Oh, my God. Absolute salad. That could have worked for it's massive. That's Slow a, down. Oh, 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 my God. God. Oh, yeah. oh, my. Partner, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just right, as well I didn't take an eight. I don't know why I'm laughing. I've got to go next. 
Get left. Left. Maybe sit down a bit. Sit down a bit, maybe. Yeah, lovely. As soon as you play with a, a, a professional, you smash it. I don't. Right, he's left me a tricky little spot, but he's going back up the hill, so I've still got a chance. Yeah, lovely effort. We're still in it. We're still in it. Dan, have you got a putting routine? Yeah. You do. Yeah, I like splitting into thirds. So yeah. Like, I'll always look. Obviously, it depends on the distance. Depends obviously, on the yeah, distance yeah, yeah. And splitting into thirds. So, oh, my last little bit here, where the most things going to happen, is kind of here. Yeah. So I'm kind of trying to see where you'd like to be I'm at like that point. Looking in and around, where it'd enter, where it'd get back to. Yeah. Feel it with. I don't do aim point, but walking up the side of it up here, mm. or walking at the side of it up here. You kind of know that I'm lower this side. Or yeah, whatever. you so feel it in your feet. Like a, a straddle. Yeah. But by walking full length of it. Yeah. You get a gauge of what it's doing. So yeah. As I make me switch to this side of the line. Yeah. Well, all of a sudden they're above me. Yeah. Exactly. So it's we, just like a bit of. We a, filmed with Andy Sullivan, and he said the exact same thing. He was yeah. like, "You'll get a totally different but perspective does, from one side." And Sully does. Yeah, pointy. Funky stuff. Yeah. Whereas I'd much rather kind of do it, have a little look, and see what I feel. Hmm how hard I feel like I'd have to hit it from yeah. that area. Slope, slope, slope. Yeah, we're still quick, Not even bad. though it's slow. Yeah. Run it out, bro. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to keep it in. Ooh, Ooh, controversial. Okay. Right, right. It's what, leaning what, at you. What are your boys' views on the I hate it. Yeah. Why? I just, yeah. I just don't like the look of it. I think they all look smaller. But do you not think it's like, for sort of like, bang average golfers like myself and Ange, that, that it helps that it, the flag might keep it in? No, I, no, well, it's only at certain paces it'll keep it in. Surely it won't always work. The because outside of it at a certain pace will ping it out. Potentially, yeah, 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 I've had a few where it's been in and it's hit it and you're like, I'd, have been, I'd have liked to have seen that without it without in and seen if yeah. it had gone in. But it's, for me, it's more how that looks. You, find, you feel it makes the whole look I mean, bigger. Today there's, no, today there's no shadows, but what happened if you had a dirty great shadow here? Or here? Yeah. That'd put me off that. Oh, it rolls a bit left. Oh. Good. By the way, this is the most interesting ball marker I've ever seen is a cannon battery pack. That's <laughs> <laughs> just how we roll. Talk to me, mate, right edge? Yeah, I do actually quite like that. Yeah. I love it. Uh, yeah, uh, no, uh, straighter than that even. Really? I won't give that all away. Okay. Not with the pace of the greens. Roll. Oh. He's on fire, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, Come on. What? Very Come on. Team nice. will it. One up, well played, well played big. Zane, thank you so much, mate. Dan, really appreciate you coming on. Oh, isn't it? Oh, so so well, so well, well, we take this. Look at Puffy from everywhere. Exactly, but um, the reason we're here is because of uh, the Bear Tiger Club. Uh, tell me about it. So, it's a uh, something we started in concept about probably four or five years ago. Right. So I've been in golf for, for a long time. Wanted to like, how do you like take all our experience in golf and make it easy for people, you know, whether that be, you know, like, where do you go to buy clubs? You know, where do I go to play? What do I, what do I work on my golf swing? And all that sort of stuff. And because we've been in golf for so long, that you know the people to go to, you know the places to go to, and so like, ask some of those questions. Yeah. So we wanted to do this like, it's like membership kind of thing. And it's from there, it's grown into like, you know what, via, you know, the new world of Web3. We can start a bit of a new like community. It's got it's got a membership that kind of sits in it, but it's a community which we can like offer like to the next generation, which might be you know. Danny and I come from but Danny. He's still very much playing golf for a living, yeah. competing. I've stopped competing. You know the world, the world of golf is quite vast. Yeah. Now like, you boys mm. love it. You like to come out with the boys and have a yeah, bit yeah. of band and that sort of stuff. And the next person, you know, next person go out just for the social or just to be outdoors. My son, who's eight. Yeah. He's not interested about coming out, but you put it on a game, put it on Minecraft, he's all over it. Right. <laughs> true, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah true. So I'm a it's bit gutted about that, not yeah. gonna lie, but you know, that's how it goes. But so, so, so via like all this Web3 stuff, which can get quite confusing, mm. we've kind of got this like members club community. Part of it is, you know, is um, kind of web based, you know, building like games online. Hopefully, get into the VR side of it, that sort of stuff. But another part, yeah, it, it can cater for 
for us now coming out and doing this part of it and meeting other people yeah. who are like us who just you know what I just want to get we want to play in some meetups so we'll, we'll organize, we're going to organise meetups and comps like during the year they're hopefully in different parts of the globe they can all come and play so if you're just starting out or if you're being in golf and you're really successful, we're going to have something that will cater for you, you know, to be able to cater for everybody. That's amazing. And where can, where can people go and check mm. it out? So, um, the tech board has been right on me about this. <laughs> he's still so right around the camera. Yeah, yeah, that, he's <laughs> like, like this. Say it, say it. But yeah, beartiger.io. That, yeah. That'd be, yeah, <laughs> got go, the go the there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, got the nods. Yeah, so that's, that's the place. But um, yeah, we're on the socials, obviously, like uh, at Bear Tiger, Instagram and Twitter. And you've got a YouTube channel as well. You've got a YouTube channel yeah, as well. Which is a link down below. Yeah, go and check it out. out. Yeah, buzz about that. He always says to me, uh, make sure you say like, subscribe. I always forget yeah, that sort of please stuff. Please like, yeah. subscribe. Share, tell your friends. Tell your mates. All right, you're one up. You two are on fire. Let's go. First par four of the day. Dan, you're pretty shot at everything in golf. But what what is would you say is your strongest part of your game? Uh, short game has always been really strong, um, always has, just from a little kid, get dropped off tuba balls and go and chip and put, because you're not going to lose them, you're not going to do whatever, and I just spent hours and hours around the chipping ring, because it's, it's fun, isn't it, you're chipping in, it's, hitting the golf ball's hard, Yeah, it's like really hard, so like to hit it well time after time, some people are just so much more naturally gifted at it than others, look at Rory hit it and you look at DJ, they're brilliant, so like we have to try and, guys who aren't like that off the tee or whatever, you've got to try and beat them in other ways, Right. so like, Golf's a game of stats, basically. So at the end of the week, regardless of what you do, you've got to strokes gain 14 at the end of the week. Well, you could gain that driving, you could gain that in iron play, you could gain it chipping, you gain it putting. But you've got to do it as a, as a total. So basically, if you're good at most areas, mm. you're going to give yourself more chance to obviously, you know, have more looks. Some guys who aren't as good at other areas have got to be better in others. So for me, short game has always kind of helped me out along the way. And then if I have a week where I drive it okay and, and get the mid irons going, well, Happy days. then you're going to have a sniff because I don't mind being at the top of a leaderboard. It should get in there. That's a really hard part. Right. So then, you know, you just, it's, it's yeah, that short game's always been like my real strong point. Um, but it's always a nice one because it's like you get you out of trouble if you need to. It can kind of win your tournaments if, you know, in and around par fives in two. Absolutely. You know, you always need it there. So basically what's happened here is when we were sorting out cameras and mics and stuff, Danny's hit one and he's we, excited we think money. it might have gone in. <laughs> Hold him on the path four. Here he is, look out. Hold him on in the path four. Did yeah. he get any slow-mo runs yeah. come into play? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable. How have we missed that? How long was that hole? 320. 320 20. straight in. <laughs> that is so <laughs> Oh how have right, we missed lads. that? You lost, let's go for a time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my yeah. god! That's, Mate, that's god. unbelievable. Oh my! That's insane. That is the best thing that's ever ever happened. On I'm after sign that, aren't I? Absolutely. We did, yeah. And we even filmed it. A little memento. That's unbelievable. There you go. You can have it. Unbelievable. Elbow ball. Love that is that. a joke. <laughs> I'm just distraught wow. that you've had a practice shot when we're not filming and it's gone in. So I might. We wouldn't look into the next team block. <laughs> 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 we did it. The flag. Oh. We did shout you. No, right, next hole, lads, you're lost. <laughs> Two down. <laughs> I'm, I'm still absolutely buzzing in, what man. this man has just done. Wow. Have you ever got a hole in one on a par four? No, I've just texted all the lads. 
I'm only on number nine, but never on a par four. Albatross, never had albatross. <laughs> I've just accomplished so many you things. Didn't have no. Wow. I've just accomplished so many things with you all. Beautiful. Right. The last time my heart pumped this quick, I was in deep. <laughs> <laughs> How does that sit with your masters win? Oh, it's better, isn't it? Yeah. I mean. <laughs> that is just that. Well, oh, two, I don't even you, know what the odds are on that. You, well, you're two up. We're and, two up now. And I, we could just end it now. Is that no zone? We're going to we're well, going to Unfortunately, I'm hoping. I'm, hope, I'm hoping that the golf club. I'm hoping everyone's gone home. Otherwise, it could be an expensive round. This. Nah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Pick out. Pick out. Oh, I'll tell you what. When is your day? Do it. When is your day? Oh. Good morning. I'm sorry, lad, but you are not destined to win today. Go on. Oh. I'm not lying, I'm proper shaking about that. <laughs> Couple of deep breaths, come on. I've got a right proper three wood on the go. <laughs> 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 oh Jesus, hole in one on golf life from a Masters champion. Oh, oh slappy. No all sit, just not in it. Oh, oh he's jumped oh, it. We're over. Oh, yeah. You can work with Sorry, that. partner. Right. You can work with Sorry, that. partner. That set looks about right, doesn't it? Yeah. Eight iron middle of the bank. Yeah. Ah, sit down. Sit. Sit. Bit long. Oh. Everyone's just excited. Oh. Everyone's just excited. Oh. Head gun. Head gun. <laughs> The needs to go close. Come on. Nice. Oh, yeah, good shot. Oh. Very good. There we go. Come on. Very good. If you bowled off the green, you can do whatever you want on the green. Repair pitch marks, do your bits. Yeah. Uh, um, unless it's placed and you can't touch it off. No. Vice versa. Yeah, like you can't do sand anything off the off the green. Yeah. On the green, you basically these days do almost whatever you want. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hit it, hit it! Oh! Come on, yay, yay! Someone's got to take it out, sir. It's all quiet still, isn't it? That's the other. You're not going to miss that. Are you? I've just told the driver. So I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> I've just got a hole in one of the par four, you're not yeah, gonna miss. Can do it from 320. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Zay, keep us in this. Nope. Oh, oh dear. Partner. Oh, the boys go three up. I mean you can't do oh, much yeah. if they're getting holes in one. I mean yeah. what a joke. Another hole in one, Daniel. Hey, Zay nearly had one. That this could have been a, an impressive yeah, that little first spell. Shot. Oh no. Trying to cut it in, done it too much. See? Too much. Lovely. On the dance floor. Oh, I like that part, a little low, keep it on the deck. Nice. Go, go. Run, 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 run. Oh, that's, had a that's unlucky that. It's had a terrible little bounce on you. Oh, this could be good here. Lovely pace. Lovely pace. Oh, I'm giving it. No, I don't know. I'm getting, I'm getting evils there. <laughs> oh. The boys need this or it's back to two. Scotland are back in. Right, Danny, yes. before, we, before we tee off, mate, talk to me about the Masters. <laughs> talk to me about the Masters. It was nearly as good as my only one. Yeah? Um, ah, yeah, obviously really special. Long time ago now, but um, yeah, six years, but... It's, a, it's an elite just, club, uh, isn't it, to, I, to have, that, have that jacket on? It is, yeah, the Tuesday night dinner now. There was 33 of us there last year. 
Um, I was going to ask you about that, actually. What, like, what, yeah. How is that? Do you just walk in and just feel like a sense of... Because like, yeah. the golf and greats, including yourself, are all there, yeah. ages ranging from 90-odd yeah, yeah. to you know, young as... But yeah. is it just... Does it ever get... Does it ever get like any different? Like it's just, it's just amazing. Like it's one of them where because it's behind such closed doors, they get the same guys who have been there for years and years um, in the locker rooms. Um, obviously, the same players uh, are there every year. Obviously, you get your new champion uh, in each year, and just a special one. This year was incredible. Hideki made his speech in English, which apparently yeah. he obviously doesn't speak much English. Yeah. Gary Player had a little speech back in Japanese. It was all a bit surreal, to be honest, wow. this year. How, um, what's been your favourite meal so far? Mine. Yeah? Yeah, Sunday no, most. Not including yourself, what is it? Um, I really like Hideki's. Yeah. I've been brought up, you know, again, the, the, the younger golfers, even younger than me, you know, we've travelled the world. I've played a lot of boys and amateur golf all around the world, and Hideki's menu was insane. Um, some of the Americans had obviously the kind of I sit next, I sit next to, to Bubba and Bubba was a little bit sceptical. Have you, have you always got this? Obviously, it changes, people it, come and go, but have you always got your same spot or is it just you no, choose? It, it, you can choose where you want, but yeah. it's it's pretty it's amazing how we all go back to the same place. Really? Tiger okay. always sits next to Omir across the table from me. I sit next to uh, Bubba and, uh, and P. Reid. Charles and Trev and Gary sit the side, the yeah. South Africans kind. It's, it's interesting how everyone sits and they end up just. You end up just like kind of just somehow meandering to the same yeah. seats all the time like around the big school. square. It is, it's the same one. Get their own group. Yeah. So. Um, but no, it's a special. It, it's just it's a special place. Special. It'll always be a really special place for me, obviously. But you know, guys who who love golf and love the game of golf, if they ever get a trip to go, I mean, it's it's yeah. bucket list stuff. And I'm obviously just lucky that. Um, yeah, I'm in that little that little smaller club that gets to go every year or for life. That's mad. When who when someone talks, who's the sort of who's the alpha in that room? Who's the one when when you talk, you listen? Because there's a lot of big characters, big yeah. winners, like multiple winners. Obviously, you know. It's amazing. Is, is how... anyone? Do you just shut up when someone's talking? Jack. Yeah. As soon as Jack <laughs> sits there, bless yeah. him. He's yeah. Just yeah. There's a there's obviously an aura and a presence around you know Tiger and the guys, but yeah. Obviously, Jack, everyone just got so much respect for him and Gary. Yeah. Um, obviously, you know, Mr. Palmer back in the day when he was there as well, just around them boys is just such a, such a difference. You know, you always respect your elders and stuff, but just any piece of information that they could tell you, yeah. you know, you, you, want, to, you want to hear it, don't golf, you? Golf related, yeah. Anything, really. Right. Life, got. Yeah. I mean, it all, it all intermingles anyway. Yeah. But yeah, as soon as Jack starts talking, it's amazing. Like, you know, when the other guys are talking, there's still a bit of chat whispering in the corner. As soon yeah. as Jack, it's like, like, yeah, class, like classroom, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Quiet. Everyone's yeah. like, ah, he's yeah. is, he is, he is, yes, he is picked up yeah. listening. Um, you know, and then boys as well, you, they always try and tell stories. And, you know, some of these stories have never been, you know, never been televised. They've yeah, never yeah. been written about, you know, because it just wasn't it's all back doors, in the day. And there's no cameras, there's no yeah. nothing. So you get the picture at the start, exactly. think, but that's that's it. So yeah, you know, when 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 Jack talks, um, yeah, when Jack talks, we listen basically. Is <laughs> that's <laughs> it. They roll yeah. The thumb. yeah, your tongue out, <laughs> legend. Right, let's play. Let's go. Come on, two fifteen. Uh, Grab a lie. No, uh, yeah, we can, we'll be, yeah. we can work with it. It's a big one, isn't it? But yeah. you, I think going on what you've hit so far, I think you'd be money with that. Join us. Similar spot. Sit, sit. Ooh. Oh, no, little peck, nice. little peck okay. off the. Uh, oh, right. off the I think you know what? I should have said something. That's Down it's a little ways below your feet, yeah. isn't it? Because of the tee box, so. So what would you what would you suggest there, both you guys? Yeah. You... Theoretically, you don't always work. People yeah, are different, aren't they? Yeah. I I don't really cut it off these lies, but most people yeah, do. Depends how you feel into it, how your weight goes into the slope or whatever. But again, rule of thumb would be that you aim left yeah. and it would cut on you. For most 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 amateur golfers yeah, who just play normally, just drift a bit to the right. Yeah. The main the main remedy here would be to find a flat spot. Even if that means moving back. Yeah, I'd take a bit of like... Moving back here. How, how far back you come? Two clubs. Two clubs, yeah. So... You have to think, you walk onto a tee, you'd plunk the ball down, didn't you? But say, if, if you're someone who hits it right to left, then you're better off going this side of the tee. Yeah. So you've got more space to the right. For a visual thing. But if you're a fader, you should always, I would say, always go close to that one you, as you, you can. Ima you imagine if you drew it and you just 
put your bag here and you pegged it here where you'd look up and you'd yeah. be like, well, I can't. Got trees in the way. I can't hit it where I want to hit but it. As a fader. So all of a sudden that looks perfect. that looks like I'm looking up this side at all and in. Yeah. Yeah. So like with where that flag is, for example, that I'd have been more this side having a little look this yeah, way. There you go. Okay, you got all the space out there now. To drift it in. Depends. It just depends how you look at it. Like it's massive down to because you just said that it seems easy, but with our average golf knowledge it, little things like that can change well like, yeah, yeah you, change you can pick up yeah. a few exactly. shots lower always, your handicap by a couple of yeah. shots by just thinking about it yeah more, exactly right? so i always had it so say that was say that's where your ball is yeah say that is normal shot mm. well i always one of my first coaches graham walker when i was at england squad mm. he'd say if you're going for a straight shot you'd be straight in line you're going to cut it you'd be stood yeah. this slight side of it straight you're going to draw it again because all it does is paint you think about how you look up ball and where that flag is, it almost paints it for you. Yeah. Same as on a putt. Yeah. You'd walk into a putt, you'd look down the start line. So if you've got a big left to right breaker, you wouldn't start down here and walk in and then aim miles left. You'd almost, I do, I'd, you almost automatically walk in from the side that you're going to start see, it These to. boys, like doing the commentary on the television, like watching these boys, you can just say do it all day long. So you know when someone comes on and you go like, what shot they're going to play here? Like I always go, oh, he's going to cut this one. And then he'll hit it, and then the coach goes, oh, it was good that, but you can tell by like the shape of where they stand, they all came from, where they stand in the tee. Like, yeah. They're like, just doing commentary thing. every week, almost nobody puts it right in the middle of the tee box. They're always one side or the other. Yeah. See, I, I, I've, I've done this before, but that plays, obviously, the, your, 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 your boy standards, yeah. I, that would play on my mind if I, if I had it in. I, I hate hitting it too close. Yeah. But in terms of like, they give you side. they give you five yards. Because Bubba ish. does that quite a lot, doesn't he? Oh, he I mean, Bubba's it, incredible. Like, so, yeah. I mean, Bubba would be to the extreme of being able to give himself yeah. the most space yeah. Yeah. to move That's a true. shot into. So yeah. Bubba likes cutting it as a left-hander. Yeah. I mean, he'd be pegging it up here. Yeah. Because he's yeah, looking like, he's like, right, how can I get the most room to give myself what I need? Have you ever seen him hit a straight shot? Yeah, tell you what, he actually, when he wants to, hits it really straight. Really? He's done, he doesn't. He just doesn't suit he, him. He gives himself so much room by by shaping it. Yeah. Very rarely will you see him double cross himself. Yeah. So he always gives himself he, maximum he always moves room. Moves the right way, doesn't he? Always. Always, he's, always moves the right way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, you, people. Th yeah. If you actually watch him as close as this, yeah. it's so impressive how he does it. Yeah. In terms of, yeah, he moves it a lot, but he like he always moves it into a safe spot or into. Yeah what looks like should be the right the right play. Always takes one side or a bad miss out. Do you ever watch him on the practice ground? No, does I he, don't, funnily or, enough. I'd be interested to know what he does yeah. when he warms up. Does he do all this or does he just... I assume yeah, like he's got a routine of, yeah. you do a few that way, a few that way. I assume he just warms his hands up. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. does what so, he wants. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's so, it's unbelievable. Would you say he's one of the, nat like the most naturally gifted golfers there, there's been? I, I don't think, I, when I spoke to him about it, he's... I don't never, think, he never does a lesson. Never lesson, yeah, yeah. So when I speak to him about his move, I'm like, why would you do it? He's like, well, I did it originally, and I did it pretty well, and then a, a couple of coaches tried saying something, and I did it, I hurt myself. He was like, so when I do it my way, I don't hurt myself. Yeah. And that was his, that was it, done. Fair enough. Oh, lovely strike off that. Stop that. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. Oh no. Oh my word. Inside. Oh, Inside. Somebody's closer. <laughs> this is unbelievable well, standard of golf. These boys are not well. Oh, <laughs> this is just ridiculous standard. Listen, it's just a gentlemanly half, isn't it? <laughs> Come on. Let's move on. Gentlemanly half. On to the next hole. Like, before you were, uh, before you whack, mate. I can tell you're a ridiculously good golfer. You were the youngest. Was it the youngest amateur? Ninety. Nine to play the Open, is that right? Yeah, youngest qualifier. Youngest qualifier. Like the Open, yeah. How was yeah. that? That was, uh, well, at the time, you yeah. don't realise it's a big deal. Yeah. Because you're just a kid knocking about. Yeah. There's three rounds of qualifying, so you do a pre qualifying 18 holes. And then there's two, and then you get through that bit, go to the finals, and there's two rounds of qualifying. So I got, got through the first one. And yeah. romp, I was at, went to Romford, got through the playoff, and then got in, so I got into the final qualifying. Mm. And um, Sergio Garcia, he had won the Irish Open. Right. So like, I was actually reserved to get into the finals. He won yeah. the Irish Open, so I took his spot. And oh, so wow. I got in and I was playing alongside another qualifier who I didn't know, and Robert Allenby. Robert Allenby yeah. at the time was like, a, you know, yeah. pretty proper player. The nuts, yeah. And, um, you know, just obviously mad nervous. 
I scarred it off the first. Not set up there, made bogey. Mm. You know, played her out for a couple of holes. And then, uh, Rob, then Robert Allenby had a go at me. For what? He said I was walk, walking on a through line. What, and you weren't? I didn't know what a through line was. I was a kid. I was oh, like, oh, okay. so, what, so what is a through line for people that don't so, know? So, basically, if this is the hole, yeah. obviously you don't, you're not supposed to walk on someone's line. In the line, yeah. But in on the tour, you don't walk within like two feet afterwards. So if, if the ball goes far, past... Oh, so you haven't put your imprint you past pre, it. You know, but I'm thinking, then when he explained it to me, I was thinking, because I'm a kid, I'm thinking, I was thinking, why are you thinking about missing it, mate? Yeah. You know, like, because, you know, about because that was your mentality. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. And then, um, yeah, I listened to a, I listened to this audio tape, a cassette, mm. that's how long ago it was, uh, about, it was called Puffing Out Your Mind mm. by Bob Rotella. And I remember I just did that for like two days and hold everything. And, um, wow. and then, yeah, and got in, got in comfortably. And uh, yeah, I, to be honest, I didn't really realise it was such a big deal. You know, like you know, doing interviews and that sort of stuff. Yeah. And then on the next morning, you stand on the range and there's like, there's Greg Norman. Yeah. There's Darren Clark, oh, there's that young lad Tiger. He just always thinking, oh yeah, this is quite a big deal now. Yeah. yeah. Did, did, that, did that get into your head at all when you, when, when you see it off? Or, or were you just that confident as a, as a young... Because to get in that early, you're obviously a, a yeah. world-class, well, you know, a, a ridiculously good golfer. So were you just sort of sure in your ability that you, you, you fitted in with those sort of players? Yeah, I think because I watched, I used to watch golf on telly, like yeah. religiously. When I actually got there, I was a bit like, I was thinking like, this is what you're supposed to do, right? Yeah. Because, you know, because a bit naive, really. Yeah, yeah. And so I, I did feel relatively comfortable in, in a weird, mm. a weird kind of way. But yeah, the first tee, like anything, the first tee nerves are just off the charts. Yeah. You know, when you're there, you know what, so, so you pull your cut, so uh, the starter calls your name. Mm. And then at that point, this like feel goes through your body from mm. head to toe and you go vroom, and you can't feel you can't feel your limbs yeah pull the club out walk to the tee and then there's a moment where you put as you're pushing the tee into the ground with the ball on top yeah i'm thinking i can't feel that really yeah. wow and then like it's great to hear you go through your routine and I'm, you, you stand <laughs> over the ball and you start waggling is um, that when it comes back into no like oh you're still you're going. waggling and you're thinking i can't feel myself moving that club but you're still going through your routine but you think, i can't feel that right and then and then you're like, well, I just got to get going there. Trustability and yeah. see where you get on. Swing it back. And just before I was about to swing it back, I thought to myself, just, I remembered like, just pretend you're on the driving range. Mm. Cause I was hitting balls at a 250 uh, uh, sign. Yeah. And I just looked up and I just went, just, just, pretend, you're, just pretend you're on the yeah. driving range. Pick your spot. And, uh, and hit, you know, made contact. It went down the middle, it was a good shot. Yeah. As soon as you get away from the first tee, you're like, oh. that's it, yeah, shoulders well, dropped. that first Damn. bit, yeah, that, that first bit, you know, you'll have it coming up in pro-ams and stuff. Yeah, it don't get any <laughs> easier. Forward to that. Not feeling your arms. Yeah, well, a bit. It's, it's, a, yeah, it's a weird to hear because obviously you're a professional, so it's like. But you know what? I played again. You, you played, know what you're doing, whereas I don't really know what I'm doing. I played like 13 or whatever. But. Played again in the Open at St Andrews in, in 2010. I was a professional by this point, being yeah. the, you know, being uh, 10 years on. It's the same exact same feeling. Yeah. Get on, call your name, and it was only like I can't feel my body. That's mad. Yeah, but you know, you just you just get on with it. When you get down the fairway, then you can uh, kind of enjoy it. But, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, amazing. Like, like all that time ago, I can still like still remember it clearly to this day. Oh, wow, right, so, that's great. I love it. Yeah. Let's go. The wind has completely died, and it's a beautiful evening. Like the pin. Pin, it's extremely tight. I'd be tempted to leave ourselves in the positions that, as partners, just left us and see what happens. Okay, yeah. <laughs> So can we just discuss Absolutely. what we've just talked about, about giving yourself loads of room? Yeah. <laughs> this does give you loads of room, but makes it really hard, I think, for yeah. a start line. What's your actual strike draw? So I'm going to go over here. Are you a drawer? Uh, at the minute, it seems to be pretty neutral. Yeah. Irons, again, the higher the loft, wedge through eight irons, seven irons, six irons, yeah. easy to draw purely because of loft. Right. The lower the loft, uh, you've got to work a bit more to do that, so... Um, theoretically, off this upslope here, this would be more draw bias because you're more down on it. Mm -hmm. So, naturally, this would help you draw it around that corner. Right. Um, so, I'm going to try and use that and kind of go left edge of that bunker and see if I can just fettle it around. Exactly the same draw, spot. Right? Same place. Hey, nah. That's over. All right. Fine. Yeah. Chip off for you boys again. Danny, how are we, how are we playing this? Um, 
depends how confident you are. You and you, depends how far on how good your chipping abilities are, son. Uh, it's not bad. I would personally like to take this out because yeah. I think this gives you a really strange bounce. Yeah, normally right. it's If you're feeling you good, just to see what it looks like. I'd, I'd like you to be landing it around me. I think this is a nice area to pitch it into that slope and then it should just pop up. So like a 56 or something? 56, 52 even, yeah. Okay, yeah. You've then basically got, as long as it pitches one on, yeah. you've probably got three or four yards there where it's into that up slope and it'll kill it. I think if you try and pitch it in here, this grass looks a little bit indifferent to get a bit of a funky bounce on your pass. Or we'll all the way over and spin it. I mean, what it golf for, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you. So I got to come close, but Biggin has piled on the pressure. Go, go. That's not going to get there, fruit. Tell you what, it do me. It it do me. This is looking a hell of a lot better now, son. Oh hello. Roll. Oh, it's Roll. Roll. Nice. Oh, pick it up. Right. Nice effort. Just, just lagging it up, just, just, just tapping it. You've got two take two. And there, that is it. That is it, boys. What a round thank of golf that so was. Much, thank you very much. Love that, mate. Well done, partner. Really appreciate it. Top man. Top man, Dan. Thank you, mate. Sean, Love it. Hole in one. <laughs> hole in one. one. Par four. Hole Chicken. in one. <laughs> I feel like you'll be more excited about that than me. Probably, I'm, so, I'm literally so buzzing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finally, someone in the world's made him speechless. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh dear. Right, that's it then. Please like and subscribe. Make sure you follow the Bear Tiger Club. All in down below. Love it. Let's go.